All right, let's play this in full first. But you can't do this to me. I started this company. You know how much I sacrificed? All right. Uh, I got a couple of thoughts. So you are mentioning a couple of things here first. Let me get to that first here. So I was a bit confused about your note here that the legs are going through his face. I'm assuming you're talking about this with that. I think you can just cheat when he takes that off. Have that hand more move more towards us. You know, and rotate the glasses a bit over. I mean, because the backside you can cheat as long as we don't see it go through the eye. It can go through the face. We don't really care about this. It's just about this one. So bring that wrist a bit towards us and, or rotate, you know, pivot off of here that the glasses are a bit more here so that this would be here. Um, I think that would be totally fine. Now, speaking of which, but you can. this seems a bit weird because if he's holding it here, for that to pivot down, like what is he holding on now? To me, it seems like he's holding on to the to that side of it. So I'm assuming you're dealing about you're talking about when he does all the gesturing that this is here and it goes through the face. Um, again, I would just cheat this where he takes the glasses and when it's here, just rotate that wrist towards us so that. Or, or away. I mean, they're either way, either the legs are pointed more towards us. So perspective wise, it would be like this. Or, uh, you know, with the, with, we see the, uh, the inner side of the glasses. Or you rotate the hand uh, away from us. So these guys are going away and we see the front side of the glasses. I would just do it like that. I wouldn't do this because this seems a bit weirdly not possible. Like now that, now the glass is kind of floating in that, on that grip side. Me. So that to me would be the first thing here. But you can also watch out your spacing. That arm comes down really fast and bam, and then kind of harshly stops and then changes direction going this way. So it feels if you watch that wrist. Oh, that kind of stood out there a bit. But you can't do this to me. Then you mentioned of eye darts um, and like a stare. And to me, it seems like here is kind of the starey part. Uh, and you're asking how I make. I think you're asking about how I make uh, eye darts and and head moves work together. I wasn't quite sure what you meant here. You tried to make them work together somehow. So to me, yeah, it would be. I mean, the thing is, the moment you have head moves, it's going to minimize the eye darts because there's too much movement. So you have to kind of look at well, at what point do I want the head to be still for just like a more existential. <gasps> what am I reading and processing? But if you're also moving the head around, then you just make the darts just a bit bigger. And then, then it becomes more of a searching. I'm searching with the head and my eyes for memory or information. I'll look at that. But if I look at this here, it goes you down. Do this to me. This just seems weird that he he is looking at this. But the moment you bring this down, I see how the how the eyes follow. But the danger is that that as an audience, we will also look here because there's so much moving now. And then I'm going back to the old man and now all I see is a stare. I'm not sure if I'm I'm a fan of that stare. But you can't do this to me. Because there are a couple things. To me. He does a stare, but then this becomes very slow and spliny. And also with that camera move. I'm also not a massive fan of the camera move. But that's a different issue there. to me to me it seems more like you want to go from this and then when he does this you do a bigger eye dart where he looks this way so we don't think that he's still looking here and it gets confusing to me i would dart out this so he looks out into the distance here and then before this you might have one bigger dart imagine your your eye box is here and then you dart over to this make one big dart out of this and then a stronger blink and not such a slow like oh i'm so tired to get up because he is he is now fully alert and processing things and getting angry so having that slow blink to me takes away from all of that energy and then i would be also careful with his arms both of them feel like they're going back at the same time 
So to me, it's like this is the document of despair here where I would I would almost hold that a bit higher. Like don't move it as much or if at all. And it's just this. And then on that getting up, then you can lower the arms. They're a bit more offset. And you avoid that type of stuff. And then, yes, there's intersection here, intersection here. Like to me, stuff like this seems very obvious and I know you're going to fix. But sometimes, since I'm uploading this on uh, on my channel, sometimes I get comments from people. Hey, what about this? Like, yeah, I know, I know, I know. I just want to make sure that people know. I know I see this, but I also know you and you're a great animator. Uh, you know all this, the constraint pops and stuff. I don't feel like that needs to be addressed because that seems so obvious. So what's happening here, here is that you go up and you have that big exhale. But then also the camera drops and it makes this all overemphasized and then it makes it all very swimmy. I'm, and it's a tricky thing because if you just tilt up, to me it seems like we would have to be, it's such a tricky thing, you would have to be almost globally further away so it's a bit smaller in frame so that we can tilt a bit less. Or... You tilt, you start tilting here-ish, the way you have it, but you end maybe here. So it's it's a slower tilt with a little bit of a translate raise. Because right now, to me, that tilt is so in sync with the body. Like, it tilts up as the body goes up, and then the body exhales, goes down, and then the camera goes down with it. It feels just weirdly in sync. I'm not sure if this would work with the camera, if you start here, but you end maybe around here and make this a much slower transition. Um, I will concentrate on the animation first. And how about this? Email me your scene. Um, and I can take a look at it. So I'm going to play with the camera around a little bit. I'm just curious. I started this company. After that, I don't mind. And you're also talking about adding some more jitter and in his hands and making him a bit more uh, old man-ish, which I would agree that we kind of need, but also ramping it up so that it ramps up more and more and more and more into this, especially during this silent moment. Uh, also, again, speaking of the camera, once you're here, I would leave the camera the way it is. I know we don't see this, but here's the thing. I want to concentrate on him getting more and more mad like all the thought process and maybe this little bit of shaking now in the hand and then the explosion and this camera move is going why is this camera going back are we going to re reveal something here maybe it's a boardroom full of kids and it's like airplane too you so know. to me this camera move is very distracting so either this is the end of your camera right where we see all of this so maybe what you can also try is take the keys delete all your camera keys this is your framing and imagine here is this camera position. And then from here, you just tilt down to where he's seated. But again, we're this far away. I hope that makes sense. Because it feels like we're we're tilting up and then we're translating the camera to the end position. Where I would say, well, tr you can try two things. What I said before, where um, you might want to start globally and stay there. And maybe tilt and go up a bit and translate. Or... You take your end position and you delete everything before and all you're going to do is tilt down when he when he sits down if, if, you, if you play this backwards i hope that makes sense again uh you can send me the, the maya scene if you want then i can i can do that for you so you don't waste time with that since i'm to me this seems something you need to explore and test i don't have an immediate solution i don't want to i don't know how that scene looks like if we just tilt up and leave it or if we start back here um so feel free to do that but if you want me to take a stab at it that's no problem I started this company. I'd be careful with this. You have a bit of a one, company. two, and you do a, like a one, two, and an up, and one, and almost a two here. It feels a bit too much in terms of how much arm movement and waving there is. I started this company. I started this company. And there's a tendency in, in a lot of animation clips to do a double arm gesture move a lot. I'm tempted to say keep this down and that's it. Just do one. Don't do the double. And then I wouldn't do a second one. To me, this this 
gesture is already in the head going, I'm addressing you, now I'm addressing you. Or you do, I mean, there's so many ways, or you do nothing here and that's the only one you're doing. I just wouldn't do as many here. Again, I don't want to dictate all the, the acting choices here, but to me, it seems like you want to do either one, boom, and then that's it. And then he just uses the head to gesture. Or you go up and you just tense up and you leave the tension until here. And he does one gesture here. You know how much I sacrifice? And I'm not sure if, if you start trembling. And again, there's no camera movement. Or we just focus on his eye. I wonder if it's if the, if it's enough. It's such a long pause where I feel like do we? The question to you is: Do you want to keep this very subtle, or we just do it like this, and you got more trembling, and maybe there's a bit more action in the head, or just a bit more eye darts, but then looking left and right, just a bit more, and it gets more, 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 more until he just goes Rah! Or which could be too overacty and too busy. I'm just throwing it out there. If he does this, and as he thinks. And does all of this, all of this, he's almost taking one or two or three steps backwards. Just small steps, like he's just, I can't believe this is happening. And then, you know how much I sacrifice. And then when he does this, he takes a step forward, right? So he goes back, 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 back. It's like the long anticipation to coming back you into know how much this. I sacrifice. And then you mentioned that you have you want him spit, and that's why he does this. And, and it's very subjective, but me personally, I wouldn't do it only because he has such a, oh, he's so mad that to me, it would be you staying here and it'll just be this mad look with maybe another look over here or just a lot heavy breathing. And then that's it. Like you want to linger just on that sacrifice oh, cut. And now it feels like you're adding one more thing and it's almost this little polite wipe of his mouth. It feels like we're adding one more thing that takes away from the energy and the impact. There's something to me where you want to go rah, cut, but that's just me. Um, <laughs> so I almost have more questions than critique points, um, but it's been a while since I've seen this and since you sent stuff. So how about I leave it at that uh, and then email me back and we can talk about things um, to see what your thoughts are about the camera and then if you're willing to take up steps here, because it would change a couple of things, obviously, animation-wise. Um, you know, you can also do, go back a couple steps, small steps, and then, boom, with this, but don't go back. It's like he throws it, but you end up with him like this, arms on the table, and he's almost like, a, you know, like an animal ready to pounce with arms on the table. That's an awesome drawing, by the way. Uh, <laughs> And that's one way to end it. Um, but again, I want to leave that up to you. Uh, and since it's been so while, let's just, let's discuss things and let me know. All right, thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.